Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our coverage of the Virtual Snooker 19 World Championships official Betfred tournament. I'm joined with Captain Goodspeed. Say hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Uh, you all right? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. How looking, are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking forward to this uh, next game. Uh, we oh. have Geometrico playing as Kyron Wilson and Zeta Swoon playing as sean murphy I, I just think in real life this would be a real cracking match so i'm, I'm hoping that they they live up to it yeah live <laughs> up to it i guess yeah. let's hope so all right so we're gonna start the frame geo metrico we can see his game we've only got geo's view here so we'll be able to see geo take shots and things and then uh Z, what zeta's doing is is a mystery but um Gio is from France. I think he's our only French entry. Uh, I think M Matitude is as well. Oh, is he really? He's French. Yeah, yeah. Well, but that's it. Okay. That's it. He missed the pack and he's got it off. So. Wow. Oh, this is going to be uh, tricky to work out what's a free ball and stuff. Yeah. I was hoping to hear David Hendon and Neil Folds in French, but it doesn't seem like... No, I don't think they recorded the commentary in French. <laughs> yeah, it's sad that. Uh, but there you go, that's a better break-off mm. by Zeta. Representing Sean Murphy. Um, yeah, that's better. Pretty much bang on. I promise to the people that aren't used to Snooker 19, we are we are good at this game, I promise. You know, the, the break's not, a, <laughs> not a, uh, an easy shot. Oh, this cue ball could be close. It could be very close. Oh, dear. It's right in the pocket. Well, we're, we're starting well. We're starting well. Well, he just wanted to give the four points back. Yes. that's it. The, the, the Snooker's oh, such a gentlemanly division. sport, Joe, is, yeah. that he just went, you know what? <laughs> Have your foul back. Let's start from level pegs. Right, so Zita seems to, to want to take this on. You know, I think if this was Tommy or, or Binny, they might have put the other one in to play this. But uh, yeah, mm. see, I don't know what he's going to do. Probably thin off these reds on the right hand side. M might go in off, to be honest. You know what? It wouldn't surprise me. This right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's oh, good. oh, he's going for the pot. Oh, look at that! Oh. That was a brave shot. Not quite it was. You might have got away so with first it. chance, first big chance goes to Geometrico. Yeah, I'd fancy this red, I think, along the cush. Oh, oh no, he's playing safe. Wow. Crikey. Again, it could be the pressure here. I mean, you, you, you've got to point of put yourself... You've got to put yourself back there, and, and you do really start to question your confidence <clears> and, <throat> and your ability. <clears throat> Especially the first couple of shots, you're like, mm, can I go <clears throat> for it, can I go... But I, think I, I would, would not have been able to refuse that red, though. I've yeah. got, I've got to admit. Yeah, but, I think um, I'm, I'm in your boat. You know, he's hit the yellow. Yeah. You know, he's all right, but he would have been nicely on the the blue or a green after that red. The cheap blue, as we call it. The cheap blue. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, and that cue ball's close again. You know, John Virgo is getting excited. That Where cue is the cue ball going? Oh no! Oh, oh that's wow. exciting. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> so Geometrico going for a tougher shot than the one that that he was left with before, but yeah. uh, at least the cue ball will be running safe. Should he miss it, he's, he's coming round to look at the pot and angle. Having a look with the awkward free cam. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you've got a stiff neck. <laughs> it it's like Virgo himself is looking at it. <laughs> I think it goes. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, that's unlucky. Not easy. I, I did fancy that to go in mm, actually. But, mm. nah. I thought he lined that now, up well. The the first couple of shots that Sean Murphy's took have been quite attacking, so I would imagine he'll take this on. I think he will. I think he will. Bit of top spin, try and run around two cushions back onto the blue, probably. So, have you played either one of these players, Joe? Nope. No. Nope. Neither one. No. 
No, I, I what mean, about I, yourself? I uh, I had the privilege to uh, play a few few of the people in the tournament before I started my game, and uh, I, I'll be honest with you. Before going into the tournament, I didn't fancy my chances, but I did take a few matches off a few people, so I, I started to think, you know, maybe I've got this, and I and I. I did play Zeta, and uh, he played well, but I, I, I beat him in the end. Um, but look, I, th- I think we were saying this in the Discord chat earlier. It's like everybody's capable in this tournament to, to win the frame in one visit, pretty mm-hmm. much. So it's mm-hmm. it's really difficult to say. And it's the worst when there's nothing you can do in snooker. That's probably the, the worst thing about snooker is that when the other person's potting them, you literally just have to watch. No, definitely. Couldn't agree more with that. But uh, couldn't get onto that red, so yeah, just a, just a six there, and got one of these thin shots where you've got to hit this in the sweet spot. And he did. Just about did. Just a bit. Just about did, but he did. And this Very could end up today. behind the brown if it keeps going. Keeps going. Oh, look at that. That's, that's a nice shot. Nice shot. I'm not entirely sure that's exactly what he intended, but uh, he'll settle for it. I'll take it. Now, what would you do here? Would you come off the side cushion and just rest in the reds? I think, I think I'd play one cushion left side, yeah. just above the pink. Hit the pack there. Um, but it ain't <clears> easy. <throat> no, because you could just slide off those reds and end up leaving those. Yeah, ones at the bottom on, but yeah. he's playing that shot that you called, Chinny. Yeah, it's so easy to. There you go. Look at that. Good shot though. Oof. That could be touching. It's not. No. So, although I don't know what touching ball is in French, so. Uh, le touching ball, I think it is. Joe, I, I'm <laughs> a bit of an expert ball. expert in uh, French. Uh... <laughs> well, is this the... is odd. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he must. He, yeah, he's hitting that red. <laughs> Look, you can kind of make it out yeah yeah good shot that's a good shot i might just bounce a bit though and i think i think zeta will take this one on to the right corner bit of top spin try and get back up the table it's unfortunate we can't see zeta's camera here it'd be nice to see it but yeah, no, that's, that's, the, that's the shot. What about that for a shot? <laughs> oh, Neil Folds liked it, so yeah, it must he, be good. He loves everything in this commentary. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Brown. Yep. I'm just uh, I'm struggling to see which red red goes. I'm thinking maybe the the red just three down from the pink, if you can see that one. Um, in the middle of the bunch, I think that might go into the left corner. Yeah, I see oh. it. No, he's no, just he's rolling just up anyway. Up. Might have missed this. No, Ooh. he's got it. I tell you what, he's good he's good on the old power bar. <laughs> Zeta. <laughs> he's good on the old power bar. Yeah. That's not a sentence I usually say. <laughs> oh well, he can't can't get to the the thin edge of those threads, so just gotta be careful of the black here on the way back. I think. I think he's he's got to be careful about poking one of the reds out here as well. He could easily do it. Almost. Oh, he's okay. Well, it could be in for a little bit of safety here. Yeah. And I think I think we've both said it. Whoever can play a good safety in this tournament is is going to do well. Yeah. Safety uh, is is really crucial because you know you've only going to miss the sweet spot on the power bar and then that's it. Um, your frame's over. Yeah, he's really nice. he's really good at hitting the hitting the sweet spot. That's a really there. good safety. Look at that. Again. He's a bit unlucky that it's just ran on he could have had mm. uh, had him in a lot of trouble there. Again, gotta be careful of that black, I think. If you hit that black on the way back then could be in a bit of trouble and he's okay. Yeah, I think he's okay. Are we going to see some more power bar magic from Zeta here? <laughs> Might be crazy, but there could be a five-ball plant on in that pack. Oh, man. I can see it. 
I can see it. That's nuts. Close to the cushion. <laughs> Not anymore. And there still is, to be honest. Oh, I think really? I don't think those two reds were just. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's more of a it's four. It's now a four ball plant. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if you hit that right, I think that would go in. It would certainly go close. There's no way. There's no way. They can't He's going to ruin it now, though. Yeah. So. <laughs> if only they could hear us. Imagine they could hear us, Joe. <laughs> How much we'd put them off. <laughs> be great. That's an idea for later in the tournament. If, yeah. if we're not playing in the final, we'll live commentate it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm left. Yeah. Yeah. It would be great to have a spectator <clears throat> mode in Snooker 19, a free camera mm. that mm. we could sort of mess around with. Um, mm. But uh, no, Snooker 19 for me is a great simulation of the game. Mm -hmm. the well, I think it, it just you have to concentrate on every shot. And if you don't, it doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. Mm. If you don't concentrate on every shot or vaguely have an awareness of what you're doing, then well, you'll just mess it up. So. Oh, he's... Oh. I'm not well, sure what he went for there. Was it safety? Uh, or... I think it was a safety. I think David Hendon was just getting a bit excited. <laughs> he gets but, a bit excited, uh... doesn't he? <laughs> Well, you know, excited in terms of he might think there's a pot on when there's yeah. not. Uh, yeah. Other than that, not not a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> so, but again, yeah, he's got to be careful of catching the black on the way. But I think he should be all right. But if he hits it too thick, it could, this could go really wrong. Yeah, this is risky. You see, well. It's just a bit soft, if anything. So mm. I tell you what, though, the standard of this safety so far, apart from the break off and the first early mm. shots, have been has been really, really good. It's been pretty good. I think the the red three up from the black spot goes into the left corner. So yeah. I'd be surprised if he didn't take this on. But... Shot to nothing there. The big problem with it taking these on is that the yellow and the green aren't on the spot, so you'd usually have them to cover you. Wouldn't yep. you? So... Yeah. Yeah. That's right. He has got the black though, so if he does, mm. if he doesn't need it, it's there. Well, it goes half a chance here. Yeah. Oof, that was quite a way off. Yeah, I don't think he went for it. You know, I don't know. It just seems like it was I... so far off. Mm. Well, whatever's happened, he's made a mess of it, and uh, geometrical here. Unless it, again, he might have missed the power ball, but that would have been the first. Yeah, thing possibly. Possibly. But considering how good he is with the power bar, you know. And the power bar champ. Uh, so here we go. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this, seeing what he's, what he's got here. So Now, he, he could go into the pack here, but I don't, I don't yeah. think he necessarily will. He's just dropping it in. Snooker nineteen is quite generous with size. You can you can get a lot behind it. You could you could put some top left on that and get into the pack, but he's decided just to play it really really safe and <clears throat> mm -hmm. go for the loose. I think that's fair enough. You know, get a few points on the board. We were saying this in the last match. Just I don't. That's what I think happened in the last match. I don't think either of them settled down because they no. didn't. You know, no. have a chance like this where they can just stick a few points on it. But. That's right. Yep. And and of course whoever wins this match will be taking on Tommy Triangle in the next next round, so it's gonna be fun to see. There is a uh, an egg cup challenge, Joe, happening. Oh. Uh which uh And what's that when uh, you're not at home? It's the, the consolation it's the losers round, basically. So <laughs> anybody losers round. Is yeah, this... anybody that gets knocked out in the first round. Gets to get entered into that egg cup challenge, so um, well. Hopefully, we can get some footage of that as well. Yeah, we? that'd be good. Get an egg, Easter egg. <laughs> now, what I've certainly noticed about uh, this game is they're taking their time a lot more. Yes, than... I mean, I think I don't know what was going on with Tommy and Binny, but they they sit they, they were playing like they were in a rush. <laughs> but uh, but now these guys are. Really taking their time. 
Now, he played that very differently to what I expected. I thought he was going to try and stun for one of those reds into the right corner, and he's a little bit lucky that he's on this red. Very, very lucky. But uh, these aren't always straightforward. You can hit them a bit thick sometimes, I find. I'd be but... tempted to, to screw through <clears throat> this bunch of reds. Mm. Just to kind of disturb, yeah. just to really open up my chances. Yeah. It all depends on whether that black goes for me, but... Yeah. yeah, he's just playing the the slow drop. And that, looking at that, I don't think that black has a chance no. of going. So maybe the blue up into the, yep. the green pocket. No, the black doesn't go. Black I just saw it. Go. But nice that we're getting to see the thoughts behind these shots. Yeah, it's, you don't get to see how people play very often. So it's uh, it's nice to see people just kind of think about it as they look around. It's interesting that the decimal point is a comma because well, in uh, France they, oh, yeah, they use a comma true. instead of a point. So. <laughs> that's a go. great shot. Yeah, that was nice. Just drop that bottom red in and sort of push through that other red for the, the black into the opposite corner. And yeah. it's, a, it's a nice chance, this actually. Yeah. Um, should definitely get the next four reds and then. I think maybe that red near the pink spot goes into the middle pocket as well. So mm. I think it's all about how this white cannons into this other red here. Yeah, I, th I think he should be fine. He's playing it the right way. Oh, he oh. just overhit it slightly. It was just above the power bar. So twenty-one. Damn you, power bar! <laughs> Zito wouldn't have made a mistake. Like nah, that. Zito wouldn't have done that. Look at him; he's sitting there. I think I'll, I wouldn't have done that. Not me. <laughs> the brown's doable. I'd fancy this. Yeah. I think this yeah. can go in. But um, I don't know. Looking at his line there, looks a bit off to me. It looks a bit thick to me. Yeah. yeah. So, well, he doesn't fancy it. But I, I, I would fancy I would... that black even less. <laughs> yeah. Turn it back round, Geo. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He can't hear us after all. He's <laughs> fancying the blue now. Yeah. But I think, I think the brown even these be... aren't nice and no. thin blue and that doesn't look anywhere near to me but you know as we say at, at, at home folks we're watching on such a smaller screen it is so yeah. much harder when you're actually playing these shots so mm. it looks okay now that though. looks okay yeah yeah just about so... yeah and he didn't have to do a lot of work there I don't know if he snookered himself though no <sighs> Looks like he's just gone far enough. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But TV he's, angles, he's so not going to be able to get onto the colour very easily. So it's snowballing a bit here. Just that last shot there, where he cannoned into the red. Mm, As you said, it was a key shot. Tempted to top top right on this one. Um, you might get the pink or the mm. blue. He's going for it. Or in the pack even, but yeah, I don't know. Mm, bit soft for me that one. Yeah, because the black doesn't go here. No, so it's going to have to be a long blue or just the safety. He's looking to see if he can <laughs> knock it in, but it... no, nah, he's just playing safe. He's not interested. But, but a nice 27 break, I think. It just, yeah. it, he'll, be, he'll be a little annoyed. I think he could have done a bit better there, but play a good safety now and... All will be forgiven, but he's having a look at this blue. Having a look. Having a look. Oh, surely he's not thinking of cutting the brown in. No. What's he doing? What's he doing here? You've got to hit a ball, Geo. Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't know. <laughs> All right, he's just he's just rolling into the brown. I think what he's doing is he's checking the pace of of what it would take to put the white on the top yes. cushion and add in a bit more. Yes. Well, it's quite a good tactic, actually. Mate. Yeah, that's very good. Because he's, he's he's tight on that yellow now, which um, in 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 the game, I suppose being tight on a colour or tight on a cushion, it does hamper you somewhat. It's not as it's not as um, punishing as it would be in, in a real game of snooker, mm -hmm. but um, it does stop you from putting bottom on the ball and and, mm -hmm. and and whatnot so yeah I don't think this is easy 
No, it all depends if he can see the right hand side of the reds here. If he can, he can hit those thin, get that white up by the brown. But uh, if not, then he's bringing reds into play no matter what. So, unless he's going to play the red nearest the cushion. Ah, uh, he's is, playing uh, your shot, Chinny. This is uh, <laughs> I don't like how it's my shot. Uh, <laughs> but this is but the first time we've seen. <laughs> Billy the, and it's not contact. a ball, it's a Billy and contact. Billy on contact, uh, which is French for t- touching ball, I hope. Um, oh, yeah. I hope so because he's not, he's not gonna hit one here, is he? So, yeah, um, I, I think, uh, yeah, that's the first time we've seen a roll up shot in our coverage of this tournament so far, but that, they're very, very common, not common in the real game because this you... is a very strange shot. Sorry to interrupt you, oh, no, yeah, carry on, Chinny, yeah. but. For me, I would have been coming off the side cushion and trying to get behind the green yeah, there. But... Yeah, absolutely. That's that's totally the right shot because you, you've got a chance of getting up beyond the green, uh, even the brown if you under hit it, you, you yeah. further away from the balls. That, to yeah. me, wasn't the right shot. He didn't really have the angle to sneak it beyond the, the blue either. No. Uh, well, if you couldn't try that shot, come off the cushion, the yeah. top cushion. Well... <sighs> yeah. But yeah, you were saying about the the roll ups. The, yeah, I mean, it's just so hard to judge in real life. You wouldn't do them, um, really. But they're commonplace. And uh, yeah, we're going to see quite a few of them in this tournament. Yeah, that cue ball was a bit close to the jaws, but uh, mm. should be fine. Great shot. It's just so empty on that side of the the. The top left table. I don't think I would have put the white up there. Mm-hmm. Needs to get the power bar right here. He just wants to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the he cushion. Did. Mm-hmm. Just about okay. That's all right. Yep. Yeah. And again, I, I have to say I've been impressed by both players. Yep. Safety in this game. It's you know it's not putting a lot of pressure on the opponent, but they're keeping it safe, which yeah. is the main it's, thing. This has been a tight game. I think both players have had chances, but pretty tight. No. What's he thinking? See, this is where it'd be useful if we could see what Zeta was doing. There. Yeah, yeah. I think he's probably going to play a similar shot to what he did last time. But yeah, good shot. Yeah, that's a good shot. I think we could be in for a little battle. Yeah, but he's played that very well. Just shows every frame of snooker is different. They, they, Throw it back to Binny and, and Tom, <laughs> and the balls were spread far and wide, and yeah. neither of them could get on them for mm. love and money. But yeah, it's, a, it's another good shot. Although he might take the one near the pink spot into the right corner. I'd fancy Binny or Tommy Triangle to, to take it on. I don't know about Zeta though, I don't know enough about him. Just the way he was playing a bit earlier in the frame, a bit more attacking, but he's 20 points behind now. He can only really afford one more mistake, so. <laughs> but yeah, well, hopefully in, in future matches we'll have the perspective of both players. Yeah, so. we do. In, in a lot of them we do, um, but this one we don't. Um... So, yeah, we'll have a we'll have the point of view of both players, but yeah, unfortunately, we don't have Zeta's view. But it's um, I think he took that on. I th- yeah, think I think he did. Bar thing. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, he can't see the easy red look. Yeah, he's not left anything easy. This is a a tough shot to the right corner. Um, see, I think Tommy Triangle would would maybe try and swerve it. But, yeah, uh... Tommy Triangle hit it off the top cushion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then still pot it. We love you if you're listening, Tom. We love you, Tom. You know. <laughs> Tom's a ledge. 
we we were thoroughly entertained by <laughs> the last match. He's watching win it now. He's gonna he's just gonna win it on a fluke. <laughs> well, I mean, he'll be watching this one intent in, intensely, trying to get some scouting on his on yeah. his potential opposition. So. Yeah, that is the thing, I suppose. <clears throat> it's the thing that I was worried about because I everybody can watch me play and you play, mm. and mm. you do kind of feel like, am I just being really vulnerable here? Like, but. You know, I think what ah, I learned... What's good, Chinny, is now we're going to watch everyone. Yeah, so, that's know. true. That's true. <laughs> There's going to be no secrets after this. Yeah. No more than half a chance. Here we go, then. That's a good chance. Yeah, good pot. No, good pot. Good and I'm a fan of, of them playing the cue ball back here as well. Superb. Uh, yeah. yeah. Another chance for the good old Geometrico, then. He's looking at the pink, which is... Uh, not something I, I expected him to go for, but I think I would. I, I think it's easy enough. It's an easy enough pink, and just I, I, I don't point... like how to get onto the next red from that. No. I suppose there's the red on the bottom cushion, but yeah, I think at this point as well, when you it's uh, every ball counts so much with the thirty to eleven difference. Mm -hmm. I think I'd be tempted just to get more points than this green, but. I think I, I I think I'd also be all right of just playing the pink, rolling it forward and playing a long red into the bottom right. Just needs to be careful here because he doesn't want to snooker himself behind the green. No, he's, no, right. he's okay. So long red, nice black into the the corner, and this I think this could be a frame winning chance if this shot goes right, and he lands with a the right angle on that black, it could be frame over. Yeah, percentage wise, what what how hard would you hit this, Joe? I'd probably go thirty five, maybe. Yeah. You playing it I think that's long? maybe a little soft, but no, that's, no, what do we know? Worked out really well. Yeah. Wow, that's perfect. I'd always err on the side of hitting them harder because if you end up closer to the top cushion, you just mm. got no chance. But. Yeah. Now I'd be screwing back for the option of four reds. So um, yeah. yeah, he's doing the same. So yeah, really good chance. This this is the first real opportunity we've seen in and around the black the whole tournament. So yeah. Well, we'll hopefully see what what we're capable of. Yeah. He's checking the black here. No, and it doesn't go. I'd so be it's... wanting to get rid of that red as soon as possible. To be yeah. Honest. Maybe after his next black, just yeah. pull it. He might be playing I'll... the pink here. I've got to say that that's the wrong shot for me. But yeah, I think he should go for a lower red. This he's going back for the blue here. I think. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think this he is. cue ball could go in. No, no, he's okay. So he's, but this is the problem the with the shot. Oh, now, he, now he's got a tough positional shot. So he's made this really, really difficult. I think in hindsight, the pink would have been like a better shot than what he went mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. and I didn't even think that was the right shot. But yeah, now he's really far away from the red. It's a natural to go into that yellow as well. The way he's queuing. So yeah, I think if he hits it harder, he'll miss the yellow. But yeah. Should should miss the yellow if he... he's on the if if he puts top on this he's on the wrong side of the reds here, mm. and he he's gonna have to play one of the reds in the middle if he's if he's gonna play it like this he needs to play it with top and left hand side yeah. to try and swing it round but so... I don't think this is hard enough. Oh. No, needed much more power, but yeah. I mean there could be a potential plant into the right corner those two reds, but yeah. I don't think he's interested. He's just playing no. safe. So, once again, not many scored, but valuable points. Sixteen points. He, he's now got a lead of thirty-six with yeah, uh, sixty-seven on the table. So yeah, he's only really two reds, two colours away from winning this frame now. Mm. But he's left a, a tempter, and I think thirty-six points behind. Yeah, I think go he's got to yeah. got to go for it. Uh, and the colours where they are, I mean, high chance you're going to get something. 
Yeah, he did go for mm-hmm. it. Where's the cue Again, just, going? Oh. just got down a bit quickly there for me, but he's left it on. So I really do think that's got to be the end now. Yeah, unless I, this red doesn't go. I think it does. I think it squeezes past. He's got to play it pretty much dead white, but I think it'll go in. Yeah. Let the gravity do the rest. Nah, this will, he looks like he's hitting it harder than I think. He's screwing back again rather than just yeah. I just roll it forward pink. for the pink. Get the pink back in play. Considering he was looking at the long pink before, he seems to be scared of it now. Oh, yeah, this is tight. Yeah, yeah good shot go. though. What? Yeah, I mean the blue is now an easier shot to get on those reds, but again he's looking at the. <laughs> What's he looking? Is he looking at the possibility of the plant? Yep. Nah, he's ah, he's looking at that red. Yeah, Oof. he's got to get low to get that red. I think I th- I'd much rather be the other side of that yeah. red to to put. I think play the red along the cushion now if you if you're going to go that way. But I, I really hope he doesn't do a Tommy triangle here and pop the white here. <laughs> Tommy's going to hate you. Going <laughs> 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 in off. Left corner pocket. Yeah, following through. That's a Tommy triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, I mean, he's played that well, to be fair. Yeah, he's he's on that red as well. Yeah, which is he's, good. Play, he's so, played that really well. Mm, I, don't I have think... to say, I've been I've been impressed by his safety and his positional play. Yeah, it's been pretty impressive. And Z- Zeta's done well as well. I think, kind of just, <clears throat> they, they, I think they have both played really, really well in safety. Mm-hmm. But I think Gio's just had the chances in this one and took yep. more advantage of them. Yeah, I think Zeta's missed a couple of long, mm. long reds, and and that's caused him problems. But forty four in front now. This red to go fifty one in front, fifty one on the table. So he is going to need one more red. Well, I'd just be dropping this in and trying to drop that red along the cushion. I think. I I think I'd screw back because you got the two. <clears throat> I don't think you can screw back. I think that's the problem. Oh, is he not? All oh, right. Uh, he's too close to the cushion. He can. Probably uh, stun up for he's it. Checking, but... He's checking the middle bags. He's checking the. He's. I think he's going to stun it and play one of those reds in the middle. Yeah, it's a fair enough shot. Yeah. Please don't hit it too soft, Gio. Because he's already put stun on it. This. This could go wrong. Ooh. Oh, it just about reached the black in time, but. That was risky, so just the red required. Should be easy enough to drop this in and a comfortable first frame for Geo in the end. A couple of nice twenty breaks <laughs> getting him through. Yeah. But Look at that right in Sean Murphy's face. <laughs> there we go. That's Good it. Shot. And didn't play the heroic screwing back for the black, just played no. for the simple pink. And, you yeah. know, I don't think Zedel will be interested in coming back to the table. So it should definitely be the end of this first frame. And I'd say so. I think, you, I think you'll be happy. He's had plenty of table time. And, you know, 22. I don't think Zedel's going to have scared him much in this no. first frame. So just playing for pride now. Now, what I'd quite like to do here is just try and clear the table just to sort of intimidate them. <laughs> Make a statement. <laughs> because if you go smacking the balls about now and, and miss one, we're just on with the next frame, which is fair yeah. enough. But yeah, the longer you can keep him stewing in his seat. Yeah. Look at him. He, yeah. he, he's looking comfortable <laughs> right now. But, uh, oh, God. You know. <laughs> Why can't I just get on? <laughs> Deep screw on this brown. Yeah, I wasn't. I I've gone for the. I think the pink was pretty on there, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to be potting this. So. No, I don't. As he pulls Not out, sure if Cita's going to be getting back up. And now, sixty-three behind, thirty-five on the table. Just the just the casual eight snookers required. Yeah, so. and he's got to get out of this one first. Nah, he's all right. Oof. Nah, Cita's got to concede there. Let's see how stubborn he is. Oh, please, no. We've all been guilty of it, Joe. 
<laughs> you know, I'm going to play on because I want to put another ball. He's having a thing. Well, maybe, maybe he's gone for a comfort break and yeah, he left his controller <laughs> there. But... Yeah, no, he's doing something. Oh, he is playing. He's oh, he's not go. playing. Oh, he's playing for Suka. That's Suka's a good goodness, shot. That's a good me. shot. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's, not hard it's half decent, but get a get a Tommy Triangle swerve in here, and, <laughs> and we're all right. Ah, well, he can hit it directly, actually. Yeah. So as long as he doesn't mess up the power bar, should be fine. Side cushion top. Oh, he's playing the pot, which is a bit riskier than than just hitting it. Yeah, but I suppose he's he's had enough of Zeta playing snookers, so. No, he is just hitting it now. <laughs> He's played the snooker. He's played it mm. almost very well, but yeah, not easy to get a snooker from here for Zeta. I would hope he would concede. <laughs> You'd hope so. <sighs> Zeta, Come if on, you're man. listening. You had no chance in this frame. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> I suppose maybe if he gets the chance to, to pop the rest of the balls, try and Sneak get a bit of blue. rhythm going. But... Yeah, that's true. That's a bit of confidence. Get, yeah, there is something in that, isn't there? Yeah. Well, I've got to say, I, I'd be getting on with the next frame now. Get on with it, Zeta. You don't have a right think. Maybe he's hoping that if he plays long enough, um, <laughs> Geo will concede. Yeah, <laughs> surely that's it. Look at that. There yeah, you go. There you go. He's 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 had enough. He's had enough. He's had enough. Yeah. So there you go. One nil to to Geo, and he, he just one more to get through to the quarters and play. Yeah, Judd Trump, which will be a good rivalry because Wilson and Trump have a, a bit of a disliking of each other. All right, here we go. Second frame. Here we go. It's a monster. <clears throat> right, Joe to break. Do you have a tactic on the break? Do you have a certain area that you aim for? or uh, Offline, I I'd always move the white near the brown. Mm-hmm. Um, Full right hand side and yeah, and and play that kind of break off. To be honest, yeah. Uh, in the tournament, I'm just going for the basic white in the middle of the yellow and brown, and try and get somewhere behind the brown on the ball cushion. But yeah, that's a pretty pretty bang on break. <sighs> yeah, no, it's very good from Geo and Zeta is in a bit of trouble here because he's going to have to bring Reds into play. He can't hit this thin enough to bring it back up the table without bringing one or two reds into play. So it could just be the, the roll up here. Yeah, mm. of oh, containing safety. Uh, that almost looked like the AI were playing that safety <laughs> shot. Right, that, that was spookily like the yeah. AI. That's what he's been doing. I'd be tempted by the double of the red of the back of the cluster, but no, nobody seems to like to play those shots. So um, <laughs> yeah, he's played the he he tested his the the weight of the the white ball there again, but I don't think he wanted to hit the brown. He didn't want to hit the brown. No, he he needs to start thinking about where the cue ball's actually going. But uh, you know he's fine. There's no reds on, no, so that's fine. But I'm, I can see a frame coming here where the ball colours are going to end up off their spots again mm. after these first couple of safeties. But uh, that's fairly decent. Obviously, that red's poked its head out, which you would probably not play in real life. But in Snooker 19, I think you've got to go for this sort yeah. of shot. Yeah. Uh, He's having a look. Just drop this in. I mean, it's a lovely pack to go into off the black, so... Yeah. You know, if you can get in that Playing a bit gap. hard for me. Mm, I think he's going up for the blue. Where's the cue ball going? Nah, he's all right. He's all right. 
He might have read there, but oh, I don't know if he's snooking himself. No, I think he can see the blue, but I, th- I think he can just drop the blue in and play for red in the cluster. Oh, he's not no. on the blue, so can't see it. See, I, I don't like that red near the blue now. I can very easily see you snookering yourself on this. So... He's playing it with top spin. I, yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing here. I think he's just going to drop this in and oh, play okay. the red into the play left corner. Red. But... Yeah, I did, he's, when he changed his power, that's what, that's what it was. It's a bit risky because it could come off the cushion and settle behind the green, but he's played it well. So, one good shot here. He yeah. Could set himself up nicely. These, these, when the long shots, when they're just off like this, I still fancy them, but they can you can hit them a bit thick sometimes. Yeah. And also, you've got to be careful of the cue ball going in the middle pocket here. So Yeah. If he plays no, it I'm sure. quite... I'm sure he'll be wise to it, but... It depends what colour he plays for. If he plays for the blue, he's got to be careful for that, but... He's put a looks... bit of bottom on it, look. Oh, he is, yeah. To the corner. This could be close. Ooh. Oof. Oof. Now that's about perfect because he yeah. can just drop this blue in, play that red just outside the cluster if it does pass. I'm not it, sure uh, it does. He's going to go look. around and check now. Oh, I didn't spot that red. I've got to admit. I was thinking about the, the, oh, the, the red one. on the other, oh, side, on the other yeah. side. No, I think he's got to be pretty level on it, though. Yeah. On that red that that's like. why I prefer the one on the other side because he yeah. can drop it anywhere on that right hand side cushion, but. Yeah, he's got a way bigger window for that. Oh, right. what's he? What's he doing with this right hand side? Oh, he looks yeah, like he's going. He... Is what? This is making me what? uncomfortable. Is it I reverse don't know what side? He's... I think he's playing a reverse uh, spin, so he's going to come off the cushion and look. So he should bounce down really like that. Yeah. It didn't work at all. I didn't fancy that at the pace he played it. You had to play that shot a lot harder to yeah. try and make something happen. But he might be okay. Is he? No. He's not even checked it. No. No, he's not even checked this, no. the, if the shot goes. He's done his little check, though. Which. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting to watch. Black. It's interesting to watch people do that. You know, yeah. His little technique of testing the way. I don't really do that that much. No. Well, because it, it depends on how thick you hit it. It doesn't really. It does, yeah, you've got to tell it. you a lot. It just sort of tells you a ballpark. But. Yeah. The more you play the game, the more you sort of learn the pace of the table anyway. But yeah, just a thin safety. Um, I'd say that's given Zeta the advantage in this safety battle now. So, mm-hmm. but again, it's it's tense. I would say is the word cagey. Again, <laughs> and there's, a, there's I, an atmosphere. I do wonder whether... There's an atmosphere. You could hear a pin drop in oh, this arena. Okay. Um, you could in this one. You can't see <laughs> half the people. <laughs> well, social distancing. Yeah, for you, yeah. Jesse, am I too close to yeah. each other? Oh dear, oh dear. Where's that cue ball going? There's... Oh, Ooh. I think it's just gone far enough to cover this red. I don't think it has. Do you not think? No, I think you can get that. Trying, trying to see on this <laughs> postage stamp of a. <laughs> Of a video, whether <laughs> oh no, I can't see it. Yeah, that's uh, a good pot. That'll build his confidence a bit. Now, perfect on this blue to just Stephen Hendry into the pack. Oh, it's just ran a little far, but I feel like it on this game. If you play that blue into the pink, there's bound to be a red that drops. <laughs> so. Hmm. Would you be tempted by the safety here, just because there's not really any chance of getting on the red? So uh, no, I think I think I'd go for the blue here. I think I'd just go for it. Yeah. Um, in Zeta's position, you know, he's backs yeah. against the wall. Probably yeah. the best shot. Right down. I think I fancy I fancy these blues anyway. Like I'm pretty mm. I'm I'm pretty decent at the blues in the middle, but you know he's gone for the brown. But I think I'd just get aggressive and and try and. Split the pack. One one tactic that I've kind of learned with Master Plus is 
I mean, in real snooker, you try not to open the pack up too early, but I, I get I get tempted to open the pack quicker and quicker just because of you know just making it way easier for yourself. So I'd have gone yeah. straight into the pack. Yeah. Again, playing the contain and safety here. It's uh, it's very cagey. The, the, this the the safety is very good in this frame in this match. So. Yeah, it could be a long one this frame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially where that back is now as well. Even if you do get a chance, you're focusing on the blue and yellow and green, which you know isn't ideal, but I think just thin off that left most red, try and get behind the brown again. That looks good. Yeah. yeah, he's just gone into it. With it. Yeah, that's not bad though. Actually, as kisses go, that's not a bad one. So a bit of pressure on Geo here, I think. He's playing the thin safety back to the ball. Doesn't want to hit the yellow here. Always oh, under hit that, and that's a foul. And this could end up. Oh, this could very be bad. Nasty. I think it'll be a free ball. So <clears throat> not a very tempting free ball, but no. Free ball. Yeah, it is a free ball. I want to see what free ball is in Ah, oh, no, we won't see it, will we? No. <laughs> Le free ball, I think it is. Le, Le free ball. Yep. Yeah. Um stick with me, Jack. GCSE French. Um He's taking his time. If you're in the tournament mode, he'd have already lost his time limit on deciding. So. <laughs> well, he's asking. Oh, he's put him back. Uh, I mean, you would think he's going to get it right this time, but equally, know. if he misses it this time, it's going to be a warning. Yeah, I mean, it's it's game. it's reactions, isn't yeah. it? So, you know, he could he could miss it again. He's got it this time. He's played it well. He's poked a red out and look where this uh -oh. cue ball's going. Uh -oh. Right in the heart of the pocket. Ah, John Virgo would have loved so, that one. Sean Murphy, four. So Zeta, out of nowhere, has got this long red, but what does he do with it after that? I suppose I think... he's just got to power through, try and get an angle on the blue. But... Yeah, I'd, I'd put a lot on this. I'd I'd move it over the move the right over closer to the brown spot. A lot of top play up to get above the blue getting that pack like the pack is just so tight there's no massive opportunities here mm -hmm. I'd even be tempted to try and get an angle on the, the yellow or green actually quite a nice pack to go into from one of those if you can mm. judge it but... nice yeah, just rolled it just, in just taking the 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 point <laughs> I mean, you got to you, you got to factor in, you know, he's he's one frame down here, you know, he might he might be just, you know, trying to get some balls down. He might mm. have a bit of a confidence knock. You know, mm -hmm. all all these players are capable, but he's mm. obviously when you one frame down and it's nerve wracking. So he might be just making sure. Hundred percent. You know, like like we we've already said in in the last match, there's a lot at stake for for us here because. It's a chance to become world champion in the sport most of us love. So, you know, virtual, of course, but well, not in my head. Yeah, no. no. Wow, what's he done here? He's under hit that. So that's a foul. <laughs> I suppose he didn't go for the blue there. I know he's trying to play a snooker, but oh, it's a free ball. So will. Oh, we got to see the French translation of free ball for us. Yeah, second. I think the free ball. You could just libre, see libre, libre. <laughs> yeah, Avec whatever that Bille is. Libre, yeah. So he is taking the free ball. He is taking the free ball. Don't snook at him behind it. For oh, is, he gonna, is he going to power this yellow in with a load of top and left hand side, or is that it's a little a, bit? That pack is so far away. I'd be tempted to try the blue and go in the pack if it from that. Angle. I think he's going to drop it in and leave an angle on the blue. I think he's doing the right thing yeah. here because even if he misses the yellow, it's not. No, he's not. He's, he's not, not leaving anything. anything so, yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm all for this actually. 
And he's on two bad in Snooker 19. No. Yeah, that's yeah, good okay. Good shot, but he's Brilliant. just ran too far for the blue. That's all right. So, he, he might he might go for another snooker again here. What can he do here? I mean, he, no, the pink's not going, mate. <laughs> no. I just, what would you do? I think I'll get the points and, and then play safe. I, I think because I'm only five in front, I might, I might try something audacious, like a load of top and left-hand side on this blue yeah. and, and see what happens with see it. Because if, even if it doesn't, hit the pack then there's so little danger here if he yeah. just tries to get in the pack you know you're not going to miss the blue the only thing you're guaranteeing by guaranteeing the blue is that you're not on the next red so yeah for me i i would have been playing a bit more attacking but you know as as we say He's one frame away from going through. There's no need for him to take risk at this point. No. So, well, he's playing my shot now. Yeah. There we go. Top this and left hand side. Go for it. Um, I would have played it a lot harder. Yeah, I would have gone maxed, maxed it out. You know, because the harder you play that, the closer it's going to the green pocket, which opens mm. up the angle, I think, for it, it's yeah, going would have gone between And them. even if you just get one red out, you yeah. know. I admire him for, for trying it, so well played. Yeah, he's all right there. That's fine. That bottom red, though. You fancy that? Kyron Wilson, six. I'd be playing that. Yeah. Definitely. I try, yeah. I tend not to go for those because they, they're so easily left. You know, you... I think air on the side of hitting it thin. If you hit, if you hit it too thick, yeah. you know, oh, play it like oh, that. Oh, play it like that and leave it. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, but but it it hit oh. the near jaw. You see, if you hit it a bit thinner, then it it doesn't stay on. But he's got away with it. Oh yeah, I'd definitely be swerving this now. Come on! Yeah, here we go. He's been watching Tommy Triangle. Yeah, there you go. Getting some swerve action in there. Although he's going to pop the yellow at the minute, but there you go. He's got to be really careful of the off here. Yeah, the way he's hitting it right now, I think the cue ball goes in. Hmm. <sighs> He needs to. He needs to hit it sort of thinner. I think. Yeah. yeah he's just thinking about it. Just think that because the line the cue ball's going on, he's going to just follow it. That's a bit better. That's. But, yeah, that's kind of what we're getting at. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's a bit better. That should be fine, I think. There well you played. go. Yeah, well played. He's on the blue, I think. Oh, yep. Yeah. So another chance for for Geo here. I'm not sure if that red goes. No, I know it doesn't. Look, there's a red. angle to there. go into the pack. Yeah, yes. It's a thin pack to go into. That's the only problem. It is. You've got to hit that was... pink, really. Yeah. Well, he's playing it with top, so I think he's going off two cushions into the pack. Oh, no, he's playing it with bottom again now, so. He needs to make his mind up, doesn't he? There we go. No. Mm, unlucky. Just got into it a little too much. He's all right. This shot here is uh, is pretty doable in Snook mm -hmm. 19. And he's not leaving much. So, And actually, he's got this black off the cushion now. So I, what I'd be doing here is just trying to go onto that black, drop that in, and get on that red at the bottom of the cluster. I think that's the, the, the best way to get the reds open. Mm. But... Yeah. Go and knock this in first and... Is he going to follow through for the blue? He might do. He's it's like really... time stood still. Here yeah, we go. Really, I was there like, has the video paused here now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's no. just took what we said to, to Tommy and uh, Binny to heart. Yeah. Look at that's that. A, a good that's, red. That's a good red. Very good red. Fabulous. So there you go. He's on the black now. Mm hmm. But not really got the the right angle, so he's gonna no. have to play this with. He's having a look here. Done on right hand side to to try and spit it up for that red, but I mean, I'd I'd almost be tempted by the blue as well here mm. on the game. <laughs> yeah. I think playing it with top is risky. I think you could. He could run out of position here. I don't know if it's, uh, does he need that much 
I know what he's doing, but I don't think he needs that much left spin on it. Yeah, he might miss the black here if he's if he doesn't yeah. readjust. So, I mean, I suppose like real snooker, if he, he people tend to line up the shot first and then worry about the power and the and the spin on the ball, but that does massively alter the the line of the shot. That's good. He's not bad at all. That's oh, good. He's... That's good. He's hit that well. Well he's played. Hit that well. Yeah. Well played. I'm I'm not I'm with you. I'm not sure he was trying to go into the pack there, but. It's worked out all right. Yeah, that's worked out really well. Um, so he's got three loose reds now. so And possibly another one in the cluster. If you look at that red, that's pretty much directly yeah. in the middle. Mm. I think that'll go to the right corner. So Yeah, not a bad chance this. He's already 24 in front. So. Oh, he's, he's, he's playing the, the dead weight shot. Yeah. I think that's what I would have done. Yeah. Good. Nice that's good. Yeah. Now, do you play this with top and just roll it in, or do you try and stun it in? And I think I'd stun it. I'd bring it back. Um, on this, back on the same, on the same now. size. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'd be with you on that, but actually thinking through the shot. I quite like the run through for the red on at the bottom of the cluster but he is playing what we said. Oh, oh he's missed the black so oh, he took his hold eye on, off it. Hold on. Oh, well. He took his eye off it, yep. you see? That, yep. That's exactly what happened there. He yep. was just worried about the cue ball, didn't readjust. And oh, he's, he's going to be gutted. Punished. So Zita, this is his first Real opportunity that he's had of the match, yeah. so we'll see what he can do here. I'd quite fancy screwing through this pack here and just opening it all up. The blacks over the over the corner, so I I try and get all the reds in play. Here. Yeah, this is this is a good chance here. You're pretty guaranteed to. Now he's just rolled it. Just dropping it in. But it's, as we've said, it's very easy for us to say with no pressure on. No, us. Joe. We're the experts. <laughs> we know everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So. Yeah, it is tough. It is really tough to know what to do. I'm, I'm just putting myself back in the mindset of my match and I was I was real really sort of nervous about it mm. not taking as as many risks as that I should have maybe done but I think you've just got to sort of gauge how your opponents feel and mm. from their shots and you know mm. if I was Geo right now seeing him play that shot doesn't scare me at all no you know I think he's that's a here. bit of a mess because uh, this red into the left middle isn't easy. But I think he'll take it on. I hope he'll take it on. <laughs> I don't want to see another safety battle. <laughs> Would you play the pot here? Um... I don't think there's a lot of risk in it. I think you take that on. No, it's... yeah, I think I would. I, I, but I'm, I, f I always fancy the middle bag. Yeah. Like I don't know why. I just always like the middle bag. Yes. He's yeah, taking he's taking it on. He's going for it. That's a good shot. Good shot. Good shot. And look at that. Oh, Ooh. I thought a thinner contact on that pack was coming, but it's not. And he's actually set them up quite nicely. If he can knock that red on the right hand side in. Uh, just thin off this black back towards the brown yeah but he's still 16 points behind that must just be demoralised and he's yeah. you know he just he at this point chance. he must be thinking oh I had my shot and now it's slipped away again black's the shot surely he's not looking at Anything else? You know, I have been known to actually take on those blacks <laughs> in uh, in my career mode. 
<laughs> yeah, when it's against the AI. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, should be a straightforward safety shot. That black's helping out quite a bit now, so... I do just feel... Everybody, in, and myself included, we, we all hit shots incredibly thin. And, you know, the moment one person takes the initiative and plays an attack and safety and plays it well, that's mm. going to put the real pressure on. Yeah. Because, you know, he's not left anything on there. But equally, Zita's probably not going to leave anything on from here. So, you know. Just go be a bit careful. So what's what's the score? Sixteen ahead. Still seventy five on the table, so nowhere near the end of the frame yet. You just get these lulls in matches sometimes, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I, not a lot is happening. What's the shot here? I... He's just he's just flicked off the reds. I think I'd have been tempted to Excellent safety play shot. thick off the reds on the left-hand side because you weren't really going to leave anything because the black's covering the pockets. So... Yeah, that's true. What's he playing? He's going to try and get it back to where the yellow is, isn't he? By the looks of it. He's doing his uh, testing the white again. Yeah. He's, attempting to get the white He's trying to get it back into the position it was in, which is... I don't know. I just I, He could have played that harder and made it way more difficult for him. I suppose he's, he's trying to stop Zeta from getting back down the table, but the shot I'd play here is a bit thick on those that leftmost red and come back up towards the yellow pocket because you, it's virtually impossible to leave a red on from there yep yep with where the black is so and it opens the reds up because if he just plays the same shot again it's not putting any pressure whatsoever on geo here so looking for the safety yeah well that that's the right line just a strange result i'm afraid hmm now, I'd 100% be playing the double here because I'd start to get annoyed by this point. <laughs> so. Yeah, the double's not that risky either, yeah. 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 You know, yes, you could leave the red on from the double, but it's not going to be that much damage, really. So. No. Uh, just the safety. Now then, red under the pink. Is he going to be tempted? No, surely could be his not. Last... Could be his last chance saloon. Brings all the reds into play. Bam. Yeah, that would be you a know. wound though, wouldn't it? I, th I I honestly think the two players we watched last match would go for it. Um, well, yeah. Yeah. But, but you know. I don't know. I th it, it seems to me that both players have just tightened up everything. And Zeta now has way more to lose. So I, I just yeah. don't think he could yeah. do it. <laughs> I'm just trying to wish for shots. I You're willing it in. Point. I'm willing it in. Yeah. I'm willing to play it. But no, I'm with you. He's just going to play the, no, the he's, slow. He's not going to do it. Thin shot onto the top cushion here, I think. Is that what I think? Yeah, thin off the, the red on the right and drop behind the black spot. That's probably what he'll play. Because you don't want to roll into these reds. Cause... Yeah, he's playing that shot, I've just yeah. said. So That's yeah. good. Good shot. Very good shot. I just I just worry for Zeta, because I don't think Geo is silly enough to, to bust the reds open for him. I think he's going to have to make his own look here, so... Yeah. This he needs to be careful reds. here, because if he hits this thin, it's probably going to hit off the blue here. Yeah, so... but if he hits it too thick, it'll... Yeah, if he hits it thick enough, it'll be fine, but... 
Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Straight I think at this point, he's just going to settle in for not leaving anything rather yeah. than a good safety. There might be a red in the middle of the pack mm. to the left corner, but letting players a shot to nothing. But I, I just I, I can't really see, and we can't see his perspective to work it out, really. But No. They're just a very tight cluster now. Yeah. And, you know. But it's good safety. It's very good, you know. I think a lot of people undervalue how good it is to watch a good safety battle sometimes. It's difficult so. to do. I think, again, you yeah. don't want to undervalue how hard some of these shots are, even though they're not flying in the pockets here and no big breaks are being made. But some of these safety shots are really, really tough. Yeah. And I think we, you know, at home, we just have to remember that it, it's a best of three. I think you'd be more tempted if it was a best of 19, for instance, to mm. go for some of these a bit more, yeah. go a bit more wiggle room. But, you know, best of three. Best yeah, he's of three. playing the same shot again, but he's missed it unless missed it comes it. back. Uh, unless it comes back. Oh, no, that was a foul mm. or fault, as they say in French. <sighs> see what he chooses to do here. What's he going to do here? He's yeah. looking at the table. I think he's trying to see whether one of those reds will go to the right middle. But... Yeah, so the Snooker on team won't let you actually look down the queue before you Wait, commit. Yeah. So you can only see the TV view. Mm. Which is a big fault of the game. I would love it if, if you could yeah. go back. You re um, it re would re be nice if you could see down the queue, look around, and then yeah. decide whether you want to take it. But snooker, yeah. snooker nighting just does not let you do that, so you have to kind of judge it. I think all it needs is another mechanism like they do nominated shots, because it used to be that once you nominated your colour, you couldn't change it. Yeah, that's right. Way back in the day, but they changed that to yeah. press circle or B or whatever, and you can go back, but... He's missed these twice now, and this yep. would be a horrible way to lose the match. Who knows what's going on in his You've head got head. to put him back here, because if he slips on the power bar, you're through to the next round. What's he doing? You cannot continue from here. No. There's nothing on. Put him back, put him back. He's doing it. I can't believe that. That's such a gentlemanly yeah. decision. <laughs> no. It's, so it's, it know. says things about you and I, doesn't it, Charles? Put him back. Z but Zeta there... He either went for the thin shot, missed yeah. it again, and loses yeah. the match, or he has to play a thicker shot and therefore more chance of reds coming out. And, yeah. and as look, much look, as it's you know, there, and he, he missed hit that now. So uh, now does this pass the black? That's what you get for being nice. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't think that was the right decision. Oh, no. For me. No. You know, maybe if you. Playing your mate in the club, but <laughs> not when you're playing for a place. I've got mates that play the, the Betfred I... Virtual World Championship. No, I've got mates that play the Misrule in the club. I'm like, what are you well, doing? Well, yeah. <laughs> Friendly game, Misrule. I mean, missed it by a centimetre. No, it was a deliberate miss, Chitty. That's what uh, it was. Yeah, yeah. Was... Deliberate. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Zeta was doing there. It was deliberate missing. Uh, well, here we go. I don't think this red goes. He would already be down if if it did. So, hmm. Yeah, just a thin safety again. Nice. Oh, where's the cue ball going? Oh, thick. Oh. And now I think that red will go. The the second red from the right. as he intended it to. That one. Yeah, that'll go. So, Geo's now got a good chance. So. Even though he made the wrong decision before, it's turned out to be the right outcome, and he's at least got the next pot and chance. So, twenty-four points the lead. To sink this into the right corner. So he could do with three reds, three colours here. Pot. Yeah, everything's potable here. Yeah, even the three. Well, he's reds. got the three reds, three colours that he needs. Yeah, to... loose, but you know, even he could make a bigger break here. Yeah, well, I don't know why he's looking at the. Oh, I thought he was looking at the blue for a second. No, he's checking out the other reds. Yeah. Just bring this back a couple of inches and red into the right middle. You just don't want to overhit this because you've not really got much backup. If you... Yeah. 
I'd be in favour of under hitting this and leaving a trickier red because you you could play it up into the top as well. So mm. it might not pass the uh, blue, but he's uh, made a bit of a mess of that. He's got the middle black here. Yeah. Not a nice shot under pressure though. These no. So no. Just got to drop it in. Should be a natural to be on the green and. Depend on how many of those reds next to the pink go. Should be all right. Putting a bit of top he's, on it. He's a very con considerate player, isn't he? He's uh, yeah. He's lining this one up to the little pocket. Likes to take his time. Likes to take our time. That's that's very French of him. You know, no slow, methodical. <laughs> uh, yeah, takes his time. No rush. But unfortunately, he's under hit that, so he whatever he takes on here is missable. So he's going to play safe, isn't he? Is he? I don't know what I'd do here. I think green. I think you've be... got to take the green. You've got a chance to win the match. You know, Zeta's yeah. probably not going to clear up even if you miss. So In you the... know, he might get on. Go he might miss it. the green and leave one red, maybe. But yeah. I think you've at least got to go for the pot. I, I can't believe he's playing safe. Yeah. But he is. He is. I think whoever gets... Well, it'll be Tommy Triangle who gets one of these two in the next round. They're going to have to polish up their safety play now. Yeah. But I, I actually think Tommy Tommy could do well against either of these because he's going to take it to them a bit. And both yeah. of these uh, look a little you know, reserved in... Yeah. Going for chances, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that could work out in his favour. It's very big contrast to the last match we oh, covered. Huge. I mean, it's the complete opposite, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You know, they were just going for everything that they they could pot, and yeah. you know, even forcing it to happen with swerves and flukes, flukes, <laughs> <laughs> and just smacking it. Yeah, um, just going but, for it. <laughs> you know, but this is this is very eighties. <laughs> Yeah. It's half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. Could be a chance. Commentary thinks he's going for it, and he Good has. Shot. Where's the <gasps> cue ball going, though? Oh. oh. Well, that's a knock in. It's a free what ball as well, I a think. Wounder. Wow. I think. It... Oh, no, not quite. I think he can possibly see one of the Reds fall ball if he goes towards the green, so. I wouldn't be continuing here. Oh, no, he's putting back in, sorry. Yeah. He's putting back in, so. Uh, what's the scores on the doors? 37 in front, 51 on the table, so. But yeah, that was very unlucky there. Very unlucky. Yeah, it's it's the right shot putting him back in here, because I think. Well, yeah, I think it's unlikely he's not going to leave a red on. Yeah, you know? it's very think... difficult not to leave something here. One of these reds, if not two of them, are going to go towards a corner pocket. Yeah. I think you've got to try a shot to nothing here on that bottom red. And then at least if you you miss it, yeah. you're not opening up the other two see, reds. Yeah, but... I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, the bottom red, enough. I feel like if you put it right next to the green, you could just about hit enough. But yes. even though, even if not, you're hitting it thin yeah. enough that yeah. it'll yeah. run yeah. away. So. You're kind of doing attacking I... safety, yeah. Mm. He's certainly thinking about it. I think he's going to hit it thin and just... Yeah, hope for the best. Hope he's probably going to just hit it on the just below the black uh, spot, I think. I think that's the least risk shot he can play. But he doesn't want to miss it on the way down again because he's running out of points here. Um, big shot coming up and it could well be his last if it goes wrong although we know he's going to play for seven snookers so you know might not be his last shot but that, yeah he's oh he Ooh. might have hit that too far that's look at that would be the end does this red go it, it does. does it does right in his face and 
you know, if he's if he wants to go for the match here, try and cannon those reds. Mm. You should probably be on the black anyway. Yeah, I bet you, you've got to cannon into those reds. Yeah. You've got you so much potential to get. The reds out, the pink into play, the black as a backup. Like, it's it's a no-brainer. I, I, he's screwing it back here. I don't know if the screw back I agree with. Mm. I just roll it forward, put top on it. You've got the black. I totally agree. I totally agree. He'll want this to yeah, drop he's gone for the screw. Pocket. He's on the black. It's a good shot. Yeah, you know, he's played it where it all depends if one of those reds goes into the left corner. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. One. But for me, I just yeah. I would have. You want to make it as easy as possible, don't you? Yeah. Which, you know, but there's a few times in this frame that we would have played different shots, but he's he's going to come out on top in the end and yeah. quite a comfortable victor in the end. Um, yeah, it looks like it. You know, as long as he pots this black, just a little bit of screw on this. You know, would it, you play it 50, what, what, 40% maybe? Yeah, about 40%, a little bit of screw. I certainly wouldn't be playing a plain ball. No. I think that could go very wrong. So. Yeah, he could uh, end up a lot lower on the, the ball. Mm, I wouldn't have... That hasn't really worked out he all. wanted to screw it there to give himself the biggest margin, margin of error and he mm. snuggered himself down. Oh, dear. So... So all of a sudden, he's... Well, he's... 45 in front, so actually that black was enough for the frame, but... Um, wow, look at that. You know, Zeta will come back. This is tough, though. He look got the power that. bar. Perfect. Well played. The eye of an eagle. <laughs> the reactions of a cat. <laughs> as well. So, there you go. Yeah. But, quite a nice uh, line if you just hit off this thin... Thin as you can up towards the yellow could be a good yeah. snubber in chance. Yeah. You know, any sort of foul from Geo here gives uh, Zeta a free ball. That's exactly what could happen, but didn't want it, the kiss on the yellow. So it's a bit riskier, but I might be tempted to come off the top cushion just to. I don't like those reds where they are. I think it's riskier for Gio here, yeah, but he's played this beautifully again. Both yeah. of these players are really good with a power bar. Yeah, that that's a great shot. That's yeah. so difficult. Nicely done. That is is probably a a four out of ten shot. Yeah, you know to get that absolutely perfect. Yeah, that that was so difficult under the pressure as well of yeah. the tournament. That was so yeah. hard. So, looks like there's a little bit more frame. Yeah, I don't think Zeta's going to give it up that easy. I don't think so. Uh, I think it'll be a very similar shot here to what he played last time. He's just got to be a little careful here. He doesn't want to flick the pink on the way through. But might even play thin off the other side. Yeah, he's decided yeah. that is the best way. That's a good shot. No. Where the yellow and brown is, though, it's just asking for some cheeky snooker. Yeah. If I'm Geo here, though, I want to get those reds as far away from each other as possible. You know? Yeah. This is developing into but he's no, just he's... keeping it tight. He missed the power bar there, but he's yeah, all right. He's all right. That could have went wrong. He's got a shot here, Zeta. Now then. <sighs> Play that red into the left middle. Lots of top spin. Try and come back down the table for pink or black. Pink or black is fine. He'll still only need one snooker. Yeah. And, you know, the way the, the other red is positioned, you can just stun behind the pink and leave that red up by the yellow or brown. So I think a couple of shots ahead here, but it's a possibility. Um, but first of all, he's got to pop this red and actually get onto the... Yeah, he's going on for the black, it. He's dropping it in. So he's playing the pink, but that's going to move the red uh, away. Just It just seems like he's lost a bit of confidence here. Like he, yeah. It was a, a no-brainer put, to put some bottom on that just to keep it, hold, hold it for the pink. 
but he, he looks like he's just making sure of the shot, so it just tells me that he's... He might play the yellow here, which will make him need two snookers, which... I don't know. I don't... He might be tempted to do a snooker here. You, you might as well at this point. He's yeah. 44 behind. A pink like you that's know. not a guarantee. You could get a free ball, um, because the red's quite close, so he's playing the pink. Playing the pink. That's a good pink. It's there, great shot, but now he's got a tough snooker. Seven. It's not easy from here to to grab yourself a snooker, so I'd maybe be tempted to rattle the red in the jaws and get the cue ball back to the ball area, but yeah. risky. But whatever you do, you've got to keep that red safe. So it's such a tough shot right now. He might even just roll up to it. I think you're right. I think I'd rattle it in the jaw and yeah. just send the, the, the cue ball away from it. Yeah. There's always a risk that it's gonna go. Play out it a bit thick and then yeah. you know at least it should run away from the pocket and Yeah. As long as you don't get too close to it, it should rattle away. Well, he's not going for the pot, surely. He wouldn't have thought about it this much. I don't think. Well if you go for the if you go for the pot, then you've got to get pink or black, so yeah. you know. Although he's already took the pink, so he will need the black to keep it at one snooker. Yeah. So What's he's he taking doing? his time. What's he doing? <laughs> This is why we need his. We need, we need the second angle. Footage. We do have, yeah, a lot of the matches we do have both angles. Um, I know for my match we do. I'm not sure for your match actually, Joe. Uh, Whatever, yeah. you know. Quite happy to commentate on it. Yeah. Yeah, at least then you can sort of. <laughs> Maybe get what I'm thinking with some. Yeah, shots. no, yeah, I, I think we'll have, definitely get you on on your match, but I don't know if we've got both angles. Oh, have you uh, not got? Uh... Don't think we've got Nevitt's footage. Okay. okay. But uh, yeah, but yeah, some of the matches well, will have both. I know, I know for a fact the footage of Nevitt's first frame doesn't exist. So yeah, he had a bit of an issue with that one, didn't you? Yeah, he did. He was, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna yeah. The, the video's still going. I just wanted to check. <laughs> yeah, he's played yeah. this. He's played that pretty well. I mean, it's a really easy snooker to get out of, though. It's a good shot, though. Like to think that long, and he's come up with a snooker. So you know, fair play to him for me. I, yeah. It is easy, though. Enough is the only chance he has here, but I just yeah. don't see it. Oh, he's playing the swerve, is he? I'll That's swear, risky. Yeah. And the the white will go in if he plays it like that. That's risky. Uh, no. Sorry, a, a bottom cushion... Um, well, one cushion escape is what you want to play. Yeah, yeah he's, he's back to that. Thank goodness, because... Uh, yeah, you want your Q elevation down a bit. This could square up a bit here. He's overcomplicating this. I'd, yeah, I I think he's maybe he's scared of the enough, but I don't, I just don't think the enough. Is... I think if you play it soft enough, it's impossible yeah. to go in. Yeah, I, I, the only way you're gonna go in off is if you hit it harder than you need to. I mean, he's looking at this from every angle here. And I... He really <laughs> I mean, doesn't. I don't that, know what that's that telling that... him. To be if honest. he's that bothered, play off the ball cushion, you know, because it's almost impossible to miss it from the ball cushion. But mm. just there, there you go. That's it. That's it. Just hit it about seventeen percent. No, he's playing it hard. Very hard. That yeah. was risky, but he's hit it well. That's fine. Now then, Zeta, do you play the pot? Because I, I, as you say, the yellow and brown up there are it's very so tempting. tempting. Like that is just, that's like, 
snooker snooker territory right there. You know, you yeah. got two really nicely placed balls at the top of the table, not too close to the cushion, not too far away. You know, having one of those when you need snookers is nice, but having two is just a godsend. So, and you've got the blue and the green, which might hamper him from certain angles. Mm-hmm. If you do snooker him, it's just so useful the way they're laid out. There is a shot here. If he, yeah, I think he's going for it. He's not hit it hard enough, but that was the right mm-hmm. angle. Yeah. Um, he had the perfect line. That would that would have been nicely behind the brown. Yeah, if he'd hit that, that, that was harder. going to the brown. But um, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I think if I'm Geo now, I just roll this over the pocket. Yep. In or over. Yep, roll it over. You know. You don't want to. That's it. Yeah, that's exactly what he's lower, doing. Lower, lower. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's good. Yeah, that's. You could have played it a softer there, but. I, if he know. played it softer, that would have been right in the. Yeah. Zeta would have had to pot it then, but you know, there's still a little life in this frame, a little ray of hope for, for Zeta. I don't 38 fancy, points behind. Don't fancy his chances though. Not from here. I think it's very tough to stop that red from coming up with the white. So, yeah, it looks like he's just potting this and playing the black. Yep. Which, you know, if if you can't get a snooker off the red, yep. you might as well try and pot it. So Yep, I agree. I, I think if you know, it's it's so tricky to, to to you know, you've not only got to get a snooker, you've got to clear the the red and the black and the colours as well. So if you do have a chance to get the red and the black, you might as well go for it if you If you only need one snooker, the only yeah. the the only time I keep the red on the table is if I need more than one or mm. a free ball or something. But yeah, um, and he's still got the brown up there, so he, he can still do some yeah. some stuff here. It's whether he's going to have to pot this yellow now as well because he didn't. I'd be play tempted that to, as well as to uh, hit the yellow off the top cushion, but he's potted it. He's potted it, so he's given himself one chance here. I think he needs to pot the green, try and get behind the brown and and snooker on behind the blue. I think that's what what he's going to have to do here. One chance. Get somewhere near the brown so that you can stun it behind the blue. Stun the white behind the blue. Brown goes near the, the black and pink. Yep. You, you definitely don't want to try and do anything off this green. You've, you've got a good angle on it. But he's taking his time. So. Yeah, that makes me think that he's doing something. I think he's tempted he's by doing the weather. something shifty. He's doing something shifty, shifty yeah. yeah. No, he looks like he's nice. going for it. Potting it. But he needed that white over this side of the table. Brown, he's yep. going to have to pot the brown now, probably. I yep. don't see how he can get this brown safe, so... He's running out of balls now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, obviously... I mean, as he gets to the blue and pink, he's, he gets more for his fouls, but I'm not sure... Well, he only needs one, one snooker yeah, anyway. I'm so just trying to get in his head a little bit. That. Yeah, just what is he It's not bad. He can, he can play thin off this blue and try and roll right up behind the black. Or he can play it half ball, blue up and down, yeah. uh, and the, the white side cushion, uh, right-hand side cushion and, and behind pink and black. But both of these are unlikely to result in snookers. Um, but but that's that's the thing. Once you start potting balls, if you if you don't get the right angle, you you just keep having to mm. go for for more shots. So, mm. Yeah, he's well, he's yeah. Uh, he's actually played something that would have resulted in quite an easy snooker to escape from. But yeah, that might be his best chance. I'm afraid. I think he's going to be in a snooker himself here. Just drop this cue ball towards the blue. The white all... The blue should be covered by the black here, I would think. Um, But either way, Zeta's going to do well to get a snooker after this. This is a 
tricky safety. It is a tricky safety. Oh. Oh, just a bit hard. Yeah. But not really the result he was after. Again, he's he's got the same problem here. It's not easy to get distance between cue ball and blue ball, so No. He could screw it back, but the blues very but likely the blues to come back. come back up. Yeah. So. He could go up and down the table, but it's so unlikely that he's going to get a sneaker from that. I mean, what I'd be quite tempted to do here is, is smack the blue straight into that top left-hand side cushion, white up towards the bulk area. The blue should come back down yeah. towards yeah. the bottom cushion. Just keep the blue safe for now and, and wait a better chance because... You know, not, if he leaves it on, it's match over. But you know, you know what's sad, Chinny, is that that little break that, that he just had was his biggest break of the match. I think. Oh so. yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, this is. Oh, he's fluked it. He's a bit he's a bit fortunate there because that could have went wrong. But he's only got one chance now, behind with the pink. Because as soon as Geo gets a chance, he's going to roll it over the pocket. So, and you've just got to hit it thin, or you know, quarter ball off the pink. Try and get the cue ball to hit near the yellow pocket and come back down towards the black. It's it's not an easy shot, but. It should keep the pink relatively safe. Oh, that's... You he might have fluked a no, snooker here. I don't think he... <laughs> nah, it's too hard. Yeah. So... I wouldn't want to cut this in, because you could go in off here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just just knock it up the table. But look where the black is. You know, there's no chance of getting a snooker behind that, yeah. really. So... What's he looking at? <laughs> I don't know. What's he doing here? What's he looking at? He's looking at, at the, the wonderful uh, circles on the table from the light, I think. That's what he's looking at. Don't, so. don't move the black. He's looking at the double, I think. Or is it, no, that's not I a double certainly wouldn't there. put top on it, but... Nah, from that angle, it'll be a triple or a quadruple, but it won't be a double. Yeah. You know, the softer you hit these, the more it opens up the angle, the, the more it sort of throws yeah. off. Yeah, the harder you hit them, it, it squares up. So yeah, yeah, I think he did try yeah. the double. Yeah, I mean, you know, Zeta's not going to get a snooker from here. No, nope. it's just got a hope for an in-off, really. But I think, as I, as I've said before, I think Geo's too smart to that. Yep. So yep. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Good shot. Although he's under hit it, mm. he's under hit it. So I'd fancy I think, that in the bottom bag. I think just drop it in. Drop it yeah, in. There's absolutely no, no point in in whacking it in. Yep. In doing a, some naughty snooker, just need to just get do in, what man. you need to do and get through to the quarterfinal. Just gotta get the power little, bar right. It's a little that's light. No surprises here with the long pot attempt. Yeah, that's okay. I just yeah, I would have made sure of it, but yeah, there you are. Yeah, good shots. So well played to uh, yeah. Gio through to the next round. Through to the next round. Looks like he's going to take the black for pride. And just think, it's either going to be Gio or uh, Tommy Triangle in the semi-final. So, you know. Yeah. Either of those two players are going to go through. and Ooh. That's, uh, that's a, cra <laughs> a cracking attempt, but... Yeah. Uh, you know, well played to Gio. I think he, he kept it tight. And, okay, there wasn't many big breaks. Well, no. there wasn't any big breaks. A top break of 17 in that frame. But yeah. good quality safety play. And I think uh, I think he'll be very happy to get through. Yeah, I think, I think uh, you know, I think we said it in the match there. But that was a complete opposite of what we saw on the first match with Tommy yeah. and Binny. But it was... It was so, I, I, and I want to emphasize, it was, it, some of those safety shots were so difficult. Mm -hmm. And it probably doesn't come through for people that might not play the game. But man, getting those shots were really, really tough. So it's unfortunate, really, because I think if, if, if Zeta would have played Tommy or Binny, it would have been really different for Zeta because 
they were potting everything, but their safety game wasn't as strong, I don't think. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah it's a it's a it'll be a very game. interesting quarterfinal between Gio and and Tommy. I think yeah, I think Tommy will polish up his game a little bit. I think he'll get ready for for the quarters, and you know, um, Gio's just maybe got a take take more chances in yeah, the next round. I, I think, think so. both players have have got a lot to improve on, and and I, I hope they'll bring it. For, for the next match yeah okay well Joe thanks for joining me no problem and My uh, pleasure. we'll be covering more of the matches in the virtual snooker 19 world championship and uh, yeah so join us for that and stay safe everybody